In this tutorial, you'll learn three ways to calibrate a sond before using it to determine the location of a utility line. From Field Sense, select Menu, and then Calibrate Sond. You can calibrate a sond by placing it in front of the spar, or below the spar, or by entering its calibration value. We'll begin with calibration in front of the spar. Make sure the spar is upright. Imagine a circle drawn around the spar. Place the sond with its side along a tangent of that circle. Select in front of spar and ensure the spar height is correct. Press start and wait until the calibration finishes. To calibrate the sond below the spar, you would normally place the sond into a utility hole and hold the spar above it. For the purposes of this video, we are showing an above ground view. Make sure the sond is on its side and level. Other than being level, the orientation of the sond does not matter. Keep the spar directly vertical above the sond at its peak signal. Select below spar and proceed with the calibration. The third way to calibrate a sond is to manually enter its strength value. Select enter value and enter the value for the sond strength, which will be found in the sond's documentation. When is it necessary to calibrate a sond? Always calibrate the sond before making the first measurement of a job, after changing the battery, or after placing the sond in a metallic duct for the first time. Optimal ranging sonds typically have a battery life of about four hours. As the battery drains, it will be necessary to calibrate the sond again. So for optimal ranging sonds, Calibrate every two to three hours. Other sonds may require calibration more frequently. Sometimes, low signal strength or a large confidence box can mean the sond is badly calibrated. So, in case of worsening results, one solution may be to calibrate the sond again.